Hi, Zach Pater here, River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. Wanted to give you a quick video walkthrough of this Sea Ray 225 Weekender. It's a 2002 powered by a 5 liter EFI with a Bravo 3. Good looking package and a very popular boat in the Midwest. We're going to give you a quick video walk around. As you'll notice, it does have a bimini top up there and he does have a full cockpit cover. The boat does uh, come with a trailer here, more so a storage trailer, but it is all titled. It certainly can go down the road, uh, but with that being said, we'll work around the back of the boat. You can see it's got the Bravo 3 there. Love the extended swim platform, gets you nice and far away from that drive, easy for boarding. A nice three-step stainless steel deep reach ladder. Work your way around the other side. You can see it's generally speaking in good shape. It is bottom painted, so it is ready to sit in the slip. From that point, let's step on board. So as soon as you walk into the boat, you're gonna notice the nice deep cockpit area. Very wide, it's more of a sport boat layout with the back seats going all the way across the back and the two bucket seats. Love the molded in steps going into the door, uh, going up to the bow area. Just for a 22 foot boat, a very roomy setup. Does have all snap in flooring as well. Off to the uh, port side here, you do have an opening door. The cushion can be removed, making it a little easier to get in and out of the boat. And if you're looking for more walk-around room, the side seat on the starboard side, and again the port side seat can come out, giving you a nice open cockpit area. As you work your way forward, you'll notice the nice big comfortable bucket seats. They are big, they are large, and both the passenger seat and the driver's seat have flip-up bolsters. Simply flip them up and you can sit higher, have plenty of legroom. You'll notice in front of the uh, passenger seat here a grab rail along with the cup holders. Again, the molded in steps to go up on and through the windshield to the bow. Work your way over here to the helm. You can see the flip up bolster again, giving you good legroom. And I also like how they put the little uh, foot piece there to rest on. You'll notice underneath, we'll look at the helm here quick, your VHF radio right down underneath, 12 volt outlet touchpad with all your controls which is very nice he does have a garmin gps unit that can mount in here as well good looking array of gauges compass center mounted just a sharp looking overall setup work your way down into the cabin here and it's very spacious for being a 22 foot boat um, you get into this size range boat and it's pretty hard to get a lot of cabin space but they do a nice job with the ability of the side dinette off here to the uh, starboard side, you've got a place for a porta potty, and it is set up so it can be pumped out over the side of the boat. And as you work your way over to the port side of the boat, you will notice a small sink. And the cushions that are the backrest cushions there and over here are the cushions that would fill in the center. And then there is a full canvas enclosure for the boat that uh, is in the bag right there. So again, for a 22 foot boat, there are a very spacious cabin. So that there is a quick exterior and cockpit and interior walk around video of the Sea Ray 225 Weekender. It's a 2002, again, powered with that five liter EFI and the Bravo 3. Just a nice overall little setup. If you have any questions or would like to set up a time to view, please give me a call anytime. Again, I am Zach Pater here at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota, and I appreciate you taking the time to view our video.